Hello everyone, um, as requested we will be testing Norton 360 uh, against Windows 11 Defender but on default settings so no no tweaking, no nothing um, so let's have a look see at Norton okay let's have a look at Norton settings Okay, so um, everything here is showing. Our heuristics is set on aggressive. Okay, script control. Our firewall. Intrusion. Okay, so under advance. Okay, under advanced settings. Okay, cool. So you guys can see some protection, all of that has been enabled. Um, now for Defender, so I'm just using the tool so that you guys can see that Defender is on default settings. So a lot of the um, exploit guard and things like that are disabled because that's not enabled by default. So we're just using the tool just to show that it is on default. Okay, so now for Defender. Okay, so these are all the settings that are on by default. Controlled folder access is disabled. Okay, firewalls enabled, reputation based, everything here is on default, exploit protection is on default, and core isolation is not enabled. Okay, so that's nice, quick and easy. Uh, let's just disable um, these protections so that I can extract the malware and we will continue the test. Okay, now that all products are up to date, um, I think it's time to enable the protection. Okay, so Norton is happy. Just waiting for Defender. Okay, so now Defender is green. It's good to go. Everything is happy. Okay, so you guys know, so the first test will be the web um, protection. Um, we will obviously be testing smart um, screen filter for um, Defender. Just waiting for the pages to open. Okay, so it seems like they both are done. Um, don't see any notifications yet from Norton. Uh, Norton is saying caution okay so let's quickly look at uh, defender okay 
Okay, so oddly enough, um, not, I'm only seeing one Norton block page. Okay, so these are just uh, the um, Kaspersky removal tools. So nothing actually downloaded. So it seems like we are protected. Um, okay, so that's nice, quick, and easy. I think it's a draw for them both. Um, obviously, Norton is analyzing a file. Maybe something is trying to download. Let's just quickly check. Okay, now it's taking too long. Um, okay, I think it's time to jump into the malware test, guys. Let's see what's going to happen here. Okay, yeah, so just bear in mind Defender is on basic settings, um, which the majority of people might be running. I don't think a lot of people, normal home users, are configuring their Windows Defender. So let's see if these settings are sufficient to test about um, approximately 2,000 samples and yeah so let's see what happened ransomware found so that's good I'll let you guys know as soon as the test is done okay guys so I'm just pointing this out um, blue screen for Norton um, malware is still executing um, on the Defender machine as you guys can see so I'm just waiting for Norton to come up um, and once it's up I'll continue the test. Okay everyone, so the malware test is finally complete. Um, I think you guys can see on the right hand side it's not looking so good. But let's start with Norton. Um, as you guys can see, a lot of the shortcuts and icons are missing. They st started disappearing about two minutes ago before I recorded again. Um, yeah, I'm not sure why, but <laughs> a lot of the shortcuts or icons are missing. Um, it obviously wants to restart, so we'll restart it through Norton. Um, let's just quickly see what's happening. Obviously, this is running here, and RDB clipboard. Okay, let's look at startup items. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven startup items. So we have quite a bit of startup items, but we'll restart it. Hopefully, that will. Um, decrease but as you guys can see um, also um, definitely IOCs on this machine now for Defender um, it didn't last too long in the test um, it did execute malware for a while but um, maybe after the first half an hour um, it started to meet its fate um, by the looks of it it seems like this um, this one ransomware I'll show you guys now but there was another ransomware, um, could be Lockbit or something else, um, with this file extension here. Uh, something is happening on the left, I'm not sure what it is. <laughs> um, so obviously this um, lock file, so I'm not sure if it's Lockbit or one of those other types of ransomware. But the majority of ransomware is with this extension. So what I've done is um, I already submitted it. So it's obviously a Revo, um, one of the Revo families, I think. Um, so this is the, the ransomware that, or the majority of ransomware that infected um, this machine. So everything is basically destroyed. And then the biggest um, surprise, if I can say it that way, is the AV Defender is missing. 
so when you look at your modules there is no defender i can't scan i can't do anything so obviously um, it could be this ransomware or one of the other malwares obviously is most probably designed more for defender to um, disable it and remove it to obviously infect the machine because there are a lot of malware out there specifically designed for windows defender to bypass it and um, exploit it so okay cool so it seems like our desktop is back again for norton um, I have already restarted the Defender machine. I can't scan it with Defender, so I'm just gonna scan it with Malwarebytes. Um, and yeah, but I would say the test is at an end for Defender. So let's just quickly restart Norton through this app. Once it's up and running, I'll update it, do a full scan, and then we'll look at the results. Now that the full scan is finished, we will just quickly um, restart this machine. And then we'll start with the third party opinion scans and then we'll finalize this test. And we're done guys, so it's time to wrap up this test. So let's quickly have a look see on the left for Norton. Um, we only did two tests, all the other scanners are removed and deleted, so I'm just using what is left for Hitman Pro. Obviously update the roaming. Um, system 32 update the local Microsoft local um, okay then obviously registry key registry key registry key um, normally Hitman Pro doesn't pick anything up in registry keys so this is quite rare for Hitman Pro to pick up things here and then obviously two tracking cookies for Windows Defender uh, completely different story we have malware all over the place um, program data, app data, local tempt you name it, it is there program data app data yeah, so it is all over the show uh, malware bytes is not scanning so it looks like it's broken for Norton um, documents and settings uh, remote manipulator we've seen that one a couple of times um, program data app data uh, Windows installer system 32 schedule tasks and then we've got a couple of registry keys um, these ones here are just POPs, but we do have these ones that are malware. Okay, let's see quickly what's running. Um, I see my file has been encrypted again, so let me just copy it over. Okay guys, um, let's quickly look at the startup items. Uh, we've still got one, two, three startup items, four, five startup items. Okay, Ruby script. Same. Yeah, here yeah, we've got quite a bit of startup items. Okay, yeah, now this machine is definitely not working correctly anymore. Um, you'll also notice with the processes that are running, there are quite a bit of um, things running here. Um, so it's definitely <laughs> not looking good. Okay, cool. So they had opened up, update the roaming Windows Adobe. Okay, so let's close that. Uh, Process Explorer is not opening for some reason. Um, Let's try it on the Norton machine. Okay, 
Okay, let's see what the results are. Okay, so it doesn't seem like there's anything funny running on this machine. Uh, let's look at our files. Okay, so our documents are intact, but again, same from the last test, we have all these additional things in here, pictures. Okay, our picture seems good. Um, I did also notice um, that there were additional user account created um, on the machines. Okay, so you guys will notice this, that there is another account here called John, the same for Windows Defender, but it now automatically just signed me back into my account. Um, obviously, it's password protected, so it might be for someone that's using a rat tool. Uh, obviously, John, I'm thinking it's John Doe, um, but that is the same for Defender, also the two user accounts. So I think it's time to wrap up this test guys. Sorry for um, it not being properly in view. Um, cons, I would say Norton did allow quite a lot to happen on this machine. Obviously our desktop shortcut, there's obviously this PowerShell script as you guys can see is running every time you log in. Um, quite a lot of startup items, um, registry, registry keys. We lost a lot of our icons on the desktop. The wallpaper went uh, black. Um, yeah, so this machine is definitely compromised. There is a secondary user account on this machine. Same with Defender. Um, so um, it's not looking good for Norton either. Um, pros, I would say at least the files are not um, ransomware infected. So at least we still have access to our documents and things like that. Um, you can see as well for Defender, a lot of startup items. Um, yeah, I must say I'm um, quite um, disappointing results from Norton this time. Um, the last time I think it did a little bit better, but it just shows you how a couple of days in new malware samples can make such a big difference because every day are there are more new sophisticated threats. Um, three days back it wasn't as bad as what it is now. Um, so. Unfortunately, some um, disappointing results from Norton Defender. Yeah, I don't need to say more. Um, clearly, the default settings aren't enough. Uh, we've seen Defender do much better um, before, but that's obviously you have to tweak it. You have to enable core um, memory isolation. You have to tweak it a bit. Um, default settings, I just think it's it's just not enough. Um, you need folder protection. So hopefully, Microsoft will most probably start enabling those features in, in, in updates to enable that for users because a lot of users don't know how to do this or aware that you can. They just use it and they assume because they haven't had a malware infection that they assume that it's working or it has protected them. Um, but yeah, this is the end of this test guys. It was quite interesting I must say, but yeah, clearly compromisations on both of them. IOC is definitely um, I'm not sure exactly what malware did compromise the Norton machine, but yeah, it just most probably just, just takes that one malware to, to compromise that machine. Um, yeah, so we'll be doing some other tests soon, um, but I hope you guys enjoyed this test. It was informative for me. I also, I also learn every time from these tests, and yeah, then I'll do another video, and I'll see you guys soon.